what does designation mean to a person like myself who's actually made this collection? Well, think about it. My job originally was a plumber. It certainly wasn't, I wasn't involved in paleontology in this sort of academic field. So for me to get this museum uh, here in Dorset on the Kimbridge Clay was a culmination of many, many years of people helping us to try and get this going. And I thought that was the sort of pinnacle of what this was going to be. To get designation puts it in the top field. And to get that, we've got to be head and shoulders above a lot of other museums to get that. And it's not just on content, it's really how the collection is curated, collected, prepared. In fact, the techniques of cleaning this material uh, now is completely different to 100 years ago. So we are prepared to a much better standard than what m most museums hold in their sort of collections. So to get this, award is actually not my efforts in self -work. You know, a lot of people have contributed, trustees, um, volunteers, lots and lots of people I could, could name as a whole list of people that actually contributed towards this. The get is for where, we're, where we are now, really, in some ways. Um, and uh, it's something that I never thought we'd achieve in such a short time. Why is the collection important? Well. We live in Dorset, and Dorset is so rich. Um, in fact, Britain has got the most varied geology in the world. 150, 200 years ago, we led the world in paleontology, and now you come down to Dorset, and we've got the, it's the World Heritage Coast. So we've got the whole of the Jurassic suite of rocks, Lyme Regis, the world famous Mary Anning, okay, the Oxford clay is well known. The Kimmeridge clay, not so much so. It's known for its hydrocarbon. Uh, source, it's, it gave us all our Norse oil, but for its macro fossils, no, not quite so sort of much. So, 35 years ago, I decided that I would spend my time collecting solely Kimmeridge material, but recording it accurately, exactly what level it came from as well. So, it's now yielded complete new material from that particular time zone. So, 157 to 152 million years ago is a time which we don't really know what was going on in these Jurassic seas. Now we do, and it's still ongoing. It's, it's opening up a whole new spectrum of science that people are now coming on board and working with us to actually describe all these different features and different elements that we've got. You've only got to examine each fossil, and once you start pointing it out to people, they, they get a clue on how it works, and they can find out for themselves. But just looking at a specimen, think, oh, that's a nice specimen. That's not the point. It's really saying, look at this. It will tell you perhaps how it lived, how it died, what it ate, you know? So what we've got that really makes me excited is this is completely new. You know, a lot of this stuff no one's ever seen before. We've got soft part preservation in the collection, which has never been recognised in the Kimmeridge clay before. We've got species that have not been noted. We can actually rewrite some of the species that have already been described, saying actually you're quite wrong on those defining characters, because look, we, we see it on these other specimens as well. If someone wants to study the Kimmeridge clay, we've got the most diverse collection for them to come and study. And it's still been added to, because I'm still alive, just. And all the material collected here has been prepared by myself as well. Predation is one of those things that people never recognise, but now you can do it. We can see it, it's obvious, and you can see it even in the ammonites. And when you point it out to people, this is the nice thing about this collection, it's not a Victorian collection in the way it's presented, it's actually showing it in a totally different light, and making people think when they come here. To get that status is, oh, dream come true in some ways, but hopefully, for the long term, what do I see? I hope that it's valued to the extent that it'll still be here in one on after sort of long dead and gone. That's the ideal thing, is to make it financially viable and stable to continue on.